Hi everyone, it's Steve from Smart PE, and today we're going to be looking at a smarter way to answer a short answer question on the ball and socket joint. Now as you can see there's five steps at the top of the page that we always follow. Read the question carefully, highlight and fully understand the command word and what it means. So analyse means to break something down into parts. I'm then looking for any topic or content words. I'm then looking for any qualifying words. And don't forget, this is what I'm going to be linking my answer to. And I'm then looking for the amount of marks available, just to make sure I've made enough points in my answer. Now that I've done that, I need to answer the question. And I need to think about which assessment objectives are going to go with this particular question. Now for this question, there is one mark allocated to each of the assessment objectives. Assessment objective one for recall, assessment objective two for application and assessment objective three for analysis or evaluation. So where we're going to get that first mark from. So mark one is going to be assessment objective three analysis. You're going to have to give an example of a ball and socket joint. When you've done that, you're now going to try and attempt to get your second mark. This is going to be for assessment objective one, which is recall. Now remember the command word is analyze, which means to break something down into parts. So once you've given an example of a ball and socket joint in the body, the next logical step would be to say what range of movement can occur at this joint. If you do that, that's hopefully gonna get you your second mark. So the final mark will be from assessment objective two, application. To get the final mark, you need to apply your example and range of movement to a discus thrower. And just remember, when applying your knowledge, try using words like therefore and in order to. So use your revision card to help you answer this question. And as always, answer, mark and correct if you don't get the full marks.